leading while we do while while political organizing is done to push for reparations at a different level. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, John. We are so fortunate here at the ADOS conference to have a brain trust like this gathered together. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to maximize the time that we have them. Uh, so we're not going to take questions from the audience, but we have a ton of questions uh, that have already been turned in. Uh, and I will just pose those questions to the panelists uh, that they'll be able to respond. And that'll give them an opportunity to address a lot of different questions. And I'm going to begin with a question to Yvette. The question is this, do you think and believe that taking money from liberal donors is a good idea? Liberal white donors or just liberal donors? It just says liberal donors. <laughs> I'm assuming oh, liberal white donors. Okay. Um, it, 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 it becomes a problem and it exposes a problem at the same time. It exposes a problem because we should be able to take money from our own group and be okay and not have to do that. And so it exposes the lack of wealth. And the other problem that it has is, and that's why Antonio and I always talk about we haven't taken money from anybody, is that this sort of movement that we're doing can only be led by free black people. That's right. That's right. That's right. It can, it can, you know, it can only be led by ADOS people that are free from the public strings. Mm -hmm. And no money is free. All money costs you something. That's right. When you talk about, when Antonio was talking about Comcast, that's the reason that we can't get our black orga black organizations that are supposed to represent us, to represent us because Comcast is paying them to shut up. So if somebody's paying you to shut up, and I don't have any money to give you, even though you're supposed to represent me, you don't represent me because somebody else is paying all your bills. You're on the board. Yep, on the board, and that's why you're on the board. You're on the board to pay the bills. So, Hmm. What happens if you're if, if all the money if all the money comes from I'm not saying you can't get money I'm not saying that like any other organization whether regardless of what organization it is because we don't have money so you have to get money a lot of people from somewhere else I'm not saying that I'm not criticizing anybody who does I'm just saying that it takes a really smooth person to be able to to, to, to maintain who they are and that's kind of why I respect Dr. Cox so much yes. because he's been able to he's been able to, to, to maintain black church, a black institution, be black led and unapologetically ADOS yeah. and still be able to navigate within those circles but still as a free person, I'm telling you I don't see that every day. Most of the time you just bought hey, well, I don't, I don't, I don't see that. And so for me in terms of my space, I'm at a space right now where I don't, where I don't have to do that. I can be just, because I'm just YouTube, I'm not running an institution, I'm not feeding black people. <laughs> right? I'm feeding you spiritually, but I don't have to put food on you. I'm not putting food on your plate right now. Like I'm this is this is this is this is this is advocacy, this is a political thing. So I think you have to be very careful because all money has a cost. And people gonna show up for it. People are gonna show up for what they want. Thank you. Antonio, how can we present ADOS position to the youth? that believes in crystals and spells to create a bridge and make the idea popular to them since this is what